What's up, Journey Gang? Welcome back to another Super Nanny Sunday. We are so glad you clicked on this video because we are so glad to have you back and we are so glad that you are here. We are so glad that it's Super Nanny Fun Day. I mean, Sunday. <laughs> we are on our way. You guys know we are on our way to 500 subscribers so we can get that community tab so you guys can really participate in the Journey Gang shenanigans that we be having going on over here. But anyway, no, any church announcements? The bulletin's clear. The bulletin, the bulletin, bulletin, bulletin. The bulletin is clear. But God is still blessing. Yes, he is always blessing us. The Super Nanny video is titled, Mother Washes Her Son's Mouth With Soap For Spitting At Her. Okay, now we have seen a child spit at their mother before, okay? Right. Recently, I will link that up here because that was just crazy. Like, how do you even think that that's okay to even come out your mouth towards me? No, just no. Bro, please, bro. All right, starting now. I'm Jennifer. I'm Thad. We have three children, Madeline, who's seven, <laughs> Hayden, who's oh, wow. six, yeah, and Lily Grace, who's nose. four. <laughs> Stop. Go play in the rock. No. Okay. I've been working as a juvenile correction officer. I spend a lot of my time mm. with kids that are locked down so and not as much down. time as I like to with my own kids at home. Hi, Where is the correction officer at? Oh, OK, yeah, because this is old, too, so. Mm -hmm. That's true. You yeah, know. That's, yeah, exactly. That's probably why they blurted out. Um, so yeah, this is always the introduction to the family, you know, and he also works with kids. So that's why I'm confused as to why, why they're having so much trouble. Why are your kids acting out when you work with juvenile? Juvenile. Deten and you work in a juvenile detention center? That's because the kids and the juvenile spirits coming off on him and going on to these kids. That's a whole different video. Yeah, because I'm sure as a correctional officer there, they train you on how to properly handle disciplinary action. Mm-hmm. So... Why is it not it translating? Might, it might be when he's not around. Why is it not translating? It, and that's another thing. These kids like to test their mothers. They do. Ooh. Mm, that's another video. I ain't got nothing to do with that. These kids like to test the mothers, okay? The kids are running the show around here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's a good book thing. Madeline, or Maddie as we call her, is seven going on 20. You're driving me crazy, Maddie. You drive me crazy. Hayden is bad. Nine! Anything he can do to aggravate, oh Hayden will do. Get off. No! Lily Grace, she can be sweet, but then she can be evil. Oh, Lily Grace. The baby. Mm. The baby. Mm. No, she was seven. I think the, the other boy was younger than her, right? The baby just gave the middle finger. Lily Grace. She was set. She's seven. No, the oldest is seven. Right, Lily Grace. Lily Grace is the youngest one. Lily Grace just stuck up her middle finger. The oldest one didn't do that. Okay, I don't know. If you, you guys correct us because tell her that was when y'all see it. When y'all see it, that was like, oh, the right man. one. He's actually right. These kids need some time out time. My children do not respect me. Be quiet, big mouth. Dear Ooh. mom. <laughs> I, I don't that. Okay. See, she was the one that stuck up her middle finger, right? Just wait. You're going to see who Lily okay. Grace all right, is. Okay, all right, all right. Bye. Wait. I when your dad gets home, Ooh. that's it. He hits that's a lot harder than that's I that's do. That's I tried discipline <laughs> the best of my ability. <laughs> Feet down. Now. Now. Up the road now. Get in there. Get stuck. I spent. <laughs> don't move. I mean, so I am seeing some authority being put out in the atmosphere. But they just not listening. They not listening. They just not listening. I don't some know kids what... just like this. Yeah, it's just you you can you can no yell. matter what you do, you can talk to them calmly. Tap. It no just matter. you can be try that gentle parent on them if you want to. <laughs> oh yeah, that ain't gonna work at this point. Mm -hmm. Not on them. <laughs> Start cleaning now. Ooh. What's she thinking? I have not found anything that works for my kids. You wanna eat soap? Uh -oh. It's very hard. No drinks, no nothing. You can taste the soap. I hope that Super Nanny can come in and help She's put our family boy. back together. This for family it. definitely need my help. Step on it. Step on it, baby. Yeah, when you get to this point, you're really like... Her mental health is almost gone. Yeah, you don't know what else to do. Like she said, she... Okay, she, obviously she's tried, you know, spanking or tapping, whatever you want to call it. She's tried that. Yelling doesn't obviously work. Uh, um, timeout probably didn't work. It's just some kids... She did, she did combo moves that didn't work. Timeout and spanking. Probably soap and timeout. Spanking and soap. 
I mean, it's work. just not working, and it can be very stressful when mm -hmm. you just want. Sometimes we just say, "Please, can you just please listen? Please." I, I feel like get out of my face. I've been there. I've been there. I'm like, please just listen. No, I'm talking about when you discipline. You can't. I know. It's not just get out of my face when you discipline. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Just get out of my face. Well, I'll deal with you later. Not right now. Well, sometimes if you're a little too angry, my mom always told me this too. She never disciplined us when she was angry because. Sometimes you can lash out and say things and do things that you really don't mean. Really and then discarded. later on, yeah, exactly. You don't want to traumatize them. So sometimes you do have to say, let me step away. But then you always have to come back, though. So that's the thing. Like, she's probably at the point where, like, she there's nothing else I can do. Like, okay, I step away. I come back. They still don't listen. Like, what else can you do? So I'm interested to see what technique Super Nanny is going to implement up in here. Because they don't listen to nothing. I'm Joe. I'm Jenny. Hi. Come on in. Thank you. When I first saw Super Nanny, I was happy to see her, but I was also very scared. So who do we have here? <laughs> Hayden. Oh, I think I remember this one. This was the one, this is the video real quick. I think this is the video when we did where mom tries not to spank her kids or physically discipline. I think this was the mom. I'm going to link that up here too, and I'm going to go back and check for myself, and I maybe will update you guys in the comments. But I think we did this family before. I remember her with the glasses. Cause she, I remember, I do remember this family, but I can't remember exactly what Super Nanny video we did, but I'll link it up here if, we, if I remember. Um, so yeah, here comes the savior. <laughs> I was thinking about a song we sing in church. We say savior. They were like, savior, hear my humble cry, savior, oh. Aaron is the Why church. Why is that my colleague? Won't you hear my humble cry, cry, cry? Hayden, you gonna shake my hand and say hi? Hi. Hello, Six. and how old are you? Six. Six. Who are you? <laughs> Lily. Lily? And how old are you, giggling Lily? Giggling. Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. And who's this over there? Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Pleased to meet you. How old are you, Maddie? Seven. That was the one that Seven. Stuck her so you got your hands full then? Yes, she I just did. said Lily. In no time, Mum's little sweeties. And Lily was four. Sour. Okay, all right. Little Sour Patch kids. Anyway, I know I'm right, so I'm not bugging. Them. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I know. I know it's fine. Super Nanny can come in and really save this family because it's looking like doomsday. <laughs> okay, because kids are all friendly when you first meet them. They always are. Little sour patch kids. That's basically what they are. It's giving sour patch for sure. This family. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Already starting. Oh. The kids started acting up a bit too rough, and then mum started already. acting even more. Wait a minute. Oh, ready. Why is she. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he's the only boy, and he needs to let out his little testosterone aggression. But why are you letting your son do that to her, his sister? Playing roughly sometimes is one thing, but it's, it gets a little too out of hand where, because when he goes to school. Not and, necessarily. Not necessarily, but. He was playing, he pulled the back of her hair we've back. We've seen it translate. We've seen how it translates. So yeah, you're right. You're right. That's I'm what I'm saying. I'm not saying but we've seen how it translates. Exactly. I'm not saying that, you know, he could play, boys tend to play a little bit rougher. So I understand maybe you'll see a little bit more roughness, but he was pulling her hair back, kicking her in her behind, punching her in her face. Like, wh where do we draw the line where that's not okay to do to your sister? Because when he gets older and when he gets in school, he he's going to think that that's okay and it's not. More aggressive. Yeah. If I get hit in the head, you're gonna get whipped. Ooh. Quit Ooh. pinching. Ooh. Stop. Find the lid or I'm taking it down to the garbage. One. <laughs> Ignorant. He's gonna be playing Go. her. Brat. Stop. Ooh. Get out of the road That's the form. Yeah, you can tell when mom, because of how mom is reacting, because listen, we've all been there when you get overwhelmed with your kids. We've all been there and you just don't know. I, she's, she's, I've been here. I've been at my wits end with disciplining kids who don't want to listen. So I know how it feels to be like, okay, I, I can't, I can't, you might say things you don't mean and you might do things you don't mean. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure she doesn't mean it, but her, her, her blood is boiling because you're not freaking listening. 
Ain't nothing. I'm telling y'all, man. I've said this a few in a few other videos. Ain't nothing like doing a good yoke up by the collar of the shirt, and letting them hang in the air for a minute, and you just look at them dead in their face. Just, just, just for like ten seconds. It'll change. Things mm -hmm. be changing. Mm -mm -mm. These Things kids changing. is out of control. Get in the trash, and you're gonna get whipped. I was getting angry. Don't spit. <laughs> Okay. You're super saying, oh yeah. And I feel like that's why, real quick too, I feel like that's why the smacking doesn't work because she does it in a way where it's not more like it just gets you to stop for that second. Yeah, it's like back in the day, like when you when your mom said you was getting your butt whooped, you got your behind whooped. Whoops. And I'm talking about me, my past. Me okay. Too. I'm talking about in the in the past, you know, my own I'm talking only about my family. I don't know what y'all was doing out there, mm. but I'm only talking about for me, my experience. When you got your behind busted. Oh, you knew you did wrong, okay? It wasn't just for the moment, okay? It wasn't pop for the moment. You was getting your behind busted. Don't do that again. That's what that was, okay? She's, I feel like it's not working because she's doing it more like right at the moment, like just be quiet or just sit down. It's for the spur just, of the moment smack. It's not, and they don't care about that. They're like, oh, as soon as you're done hitting me for that second. Right yeah, just as soon as you're done with the right little back, smack. Right back to business. That's <laughs> why he was still, like she had to hit, she hit him like three times and he was still doing what he wanted to do. Like Powering up, baby, for the next go around. It's crazy. If you want to spit, you can eat soap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your sister soap. ate it. I didn't tolerate uh -oh. her spitting, and I'm not tolerating you spit. <laughs> there I was, watching Mum put soap in Hayden's mouth. Struggling I couldn't believe to get in it. There. What's the lesson in using soap and spanking your kids? <laughs> That's what you hear from people 30 years ago. And like Super Nate just said, you know, people, that was an old school. It's an outdated tactic, baby. It is. That was an old school thing where they say, put that bar. So you, we all seen the Christmas story. If you haven't seen the Christmas story, there. it's coming on this Christmas. And baby. it'll be on all day. Okay. All day long. TNT. Yes. If you haven't seen a Christmas story, I don't know where you've been at. Maybe you're too young. I don't know. But they that big red bar of soap, in the Hanging mouth. Hanging out his mouth. In the mouth. So, like... Okay. That was an old school thing. Okay. But most of us have been there. Most of us who are in our, our, our you know, early 30s, mid 30s. If you're a millennial, possibly. There you go. That's if the you, word. Yeah. If you're a millennial, that's who we, that's who our target audience is. If you're a millennial, because that's what we are. You had to soap in your mouth. You might have. I didn't. Oh, I did. You know, Mama Hung, she popped us. Okay. Pa, what a hat. Palomalo, it's the green bottle. Oh, I forgot about, uh. Palomalo. I forgot about that. <laughs> do they still make that too? They sure do. Good Lord. Palomalo. I said follow my list. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. Y'all knew exactly what I said I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, I knew what you were talking about too, but I had to think about it. Like, remember what I said earlier? Really? Ridiculous, if you ask me. Don't spit again. Billy, you just. He's like, he's like, he uh, that shit up. It don't even look like it got in his mouth because she pumped it in her hand. And she was trying to put it in his hand. No, put it in his mouth. She I was mean, trying to like pour it in his mouth with her hand. I don't know how in the world that was gonna work. He's pulled a whole his jaws open. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you how. Well, he was this. fighting with her, so. With woman hands, sorry. What you gotta do is hold his jaw open real tight so that he don't move. And you... And oh, you pump it in there like the other mom did. Exactly. You gotta get the spout and you put it over to, to the yeah, mouth, you not put it in your hand. Why would you put it in your hand and wait for it to drip? Grab him real tight by the chin and wait for him. You're hurting me, you're hurting me. This is an old video. So I Very hope old. that no one is still doing this technique, but you know, people are probably still doing this technique anyway because we're not in your household. So we're not here to judge about what y'all do, but I'm just saying that stuff has chemicals in it and you just gotta be careful. You well, you just don't do it because it's got you chemicals know, in it. You no good for your mouth. You no good. Yeah, it's not good for your body. No. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, drinking bleach or something. Like, why would you put those chemicals? Yeah. Why would you purposely put chemicals in your child's body? I know we'd be frustrated out here. Listen, I, sis. Yeah, you don't make no listen out here, saying. sis and bro. I get the frustration with parenting, but we just cannot do the chemicals. Okay? No chemicals. Okay. Leave us some comments on what you thought of this video. Um, of course, I will make sure the other video of the soap in the mouth one that we did before is in the description box. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, guys. Focusing on what we're supposed to be doing. Anyway, guys, remember, the journey continues up.